Hey guys, it's Megan. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a new way to make paper squishies. I made paper squishies about eight months ago on my channel and that video seemed to do really well. But I found a new way to make them and this I think is the best way that I've thought of so far. These squishies are super cool and you don't need any memory foam or puffy paint to make them. I've never seen anyone else use this method to make paper squishies, so hopefully this gives you guys some new ideas. So without further ado, let's just get into the video. To make this squishy, you'll need a piece of paper, a plastic bag, some pillow stuffing, some tape, and something to color with. So the first step is to draw out the shape of your squishy. You can do any shape that you want, but I decided to make a Pop-Tart for this squishy. So first for the Pop-Tart, you're going to want to draw out a rectangle shape. I used a ruler to help me make sure that the edges were straight, but if you don't have a ruler, you can just use anything with a straight edge. Or you can just freehand it. So now that we have our rectangle, we're going to draw a smaller rectangle inside of this bigger rectangle. But for this rectangle, I only drew the two sides and the bottom, and I left the top open. At the top part of the rectangle that we left open, I drew a zigzagged line. And on top of that line, I drew another zigzagged line. And here's what our Pop-Tart should look like so far. So now it's time to add the face. You don't have to add a face if you don't want to, but I just think that it makes it look super cute. First, draw two circles for the eyes. Then, draw two smaller circles in the eyes for the highlight. Then, draw in a little U-shape for the mouth. And add two more tiny circles inside of the eyes for more highlight. So now we can color in our Pop-Tart. So I decided to erase the pencil lines so that I could just barely see them, and that was just so that it didn't show up under the colored pencil. So then I went back over the lines with the colored pencil and then colored in my Pop-Tart. I decided that I wanted to make this into a strawberry Pop-Tart, so I colored in the zigzag lines with a red colored pencil. Comment down below what your favorite flavor of Pop-Tart is. I think my favorite would either have to be strawberry or cookies and cream. So now I'm just coloring in the crust of the Pop-Tart with this tan color. Next, I outlined the eyes with a black marker, and then I colored them in. And next, I used my Posca paint pens to make the sprinkles. The sprinkles on a strawberry Pop-Tart are red, pink, orange, green, and yellow. So I used all of these colors. So now that we drew our Pop-Tart, we can go ahead and cut it out. To make the back of the Pop-Tart, take the piece that we just cut out and put it on top of another piece of paper. Then, go ahead and trace around it, and then color it in. Of course, you don't have to color the back of your paper squishies, but I like to do so just to make it look more finished. And once you've finished coloring it, you can go ahead and cut it out. Next, I'm taking some clear packing tape and putting it all over the piece that we just cut out. And then, cut off any extra tape that's hanging off the edges. And then, cover the front piece with tape the same way that we did for the back. And cut off the extra tape. And now that we have our front and back pieces done, it's time to put them together. So flip the back piece over and then put the front piece on right side up. Go ahead and tape the bottom together and then cut off any excess. Tape both sides of the squishy together the same way, but make sure to leave the part at the top open. So now it's finally time to show you guys the best way to stuff a paper squishy without memory foam. First, take your plastic bag and measure your squishy on top of it. We're going to want to cut our plastic bag down so that it will fit inside of our squishy. Cut off any excess at the top too, making sure to leave a little bit of extra space. Use a piece of tape to tape the edge that we just cut open closed. So now we have a little mini plastic bag. So now you're going to want to take your little mini plastic bag and stuff it inside of the squishy. Next, take some pillow stuffing and stuff it inside of the plastic bag. And once that's done, use some tape to tape the top of the plastic bag closed. Then, take your clear packing tape and tape the top of the squishy closed. Cut off any excess tape, and then your DIY paper squishy is done. I think that this is the best way to make a paper squishy, and it makes it the most slow rising that I've found so far. If you try making this squishy or any of my other paper squishies, make sure to tag me on Instagram. It is at WellerMegs. Like guys, I seriously can't get over how good this paper squishy is. It came out so much better than my original paper squishies, so definitely try out this method. If you don't have pillow stuffing at home, you could also use cotton balls. Just rip them up a little bit before you put them in the bag to make it more like pillow stuffing. 
And speaking of squishies, check out all these awesome new squishies from Smushy Mushy. Vote in the card for which squishy you would like to see a DIY on. And comment what material I should use to make it. Should I use duct tape, or should I use paper, or should I just use regular memory foam? Let me know in the comments. You can find these squishies at Walmart. I'll have them linked in the description. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. And if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And as always, make sure to subscribe for more videos just like this one. And make sure to follow me on Instagram. It is at WellerMegs. And yeah, I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!